Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to today's YouTube live. Um, as you can see, Brenda, I I'm a giver. You guys you are a giver. You're the and best I giver. So kindly gave my sinus cold thing. I blessed Brenda with it. And blessed your husband with it. I know. I know. Don't you wish you could come hang out with me for a while? Oh, so if you don't know what we're talking about, um, I last week off, I came down with this awful sinus bug. And I'm telling you what, guys, I was on the couch for four days. I was down for the count. And I was with Brenda that week prior. And yeah, I. It's fine. I'm it's really fine. sorry. Dayquil is my friend at nighttime cold. You ought to see my kitchen counter. It's yeah. just that, and my husband and I take different kinds of cold medicine. Oh, so there's like my no name nighttime medicine that doesn't keep me. It doesn't make me sleep, but it doesn't wire me. Yeah. But then he does a totally different kind because everything knocks him out. And then yes, like, Nyquil, four different Nyquil kinds. Of, yep. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. So and it's Nyquil. Fine all day because i was so tired so oh yeah I night hope you guys are all healthy <laughs> and brenda's definitely going to be muting a lot because she's got the cough and all that i had last week i finally got over that one but um so yeah thank you all you sent so many get well wishes thank you all so much and i hated having a miss last week but you know it i would have been can you imagine me trying to create a card live when I was on cold medicine. Um, you know how crazy I can get when I'm on coffee. So, well, I'll tell you what, with that, we're gonna head over to the cards that we were going to make last week and we're gonna make them this week. I am gonna ask for your patience because now another week has gone by and I gotta try to remember how I made these. So let's head over here. Let's go to the stamping table. I've got my water handy because again still dealing with the stuff we are going to create some really great cards featuring the irresistible blooms dies i love these um real quick i want to make sure everyone can hear me um i think so i haven't seen any messages but i want to make sure because we had to move some things around in here and you know how that is all right irresistible blooms so i am aware that the um the stamp set is available and the dies are currently not available. Hang tight, guys. They should be in stock the week of April 17th. Um, but of course, when I scheduled all of this, they were available. But uh, hopefully you either already have these or you're going to want to put these on your wish list. And in a couple weeks, make sure you add these to your next order. So fun cards, right? Love these dies. And I love what these two detailed dies do. We're going to do some little tips and tricks with today's card. So I hope you guys are ready to get started. Um, we do have a free download for you that goes along with the cards. And uh, Brenda has posted that there. If you miss that or anything, you can always go to simplysimplestamping.com. Just look for the Irresistible Blooms cards and uh, you'll be able to get that free download there. It's also a two-parter because I have another set of cards. I have some that are in some bright regal colors or, well, I guess they're not really bright regal colors. They're still bright. But then I have some nice subtle ones as well. If you're looking for something a little bit springier, you can always come back and watch the video right there. You can see the full supply list and order your irresistible blooms dies right there. And of course, all your measurements. Here we go, my friends. Okay, we're going to start, we're going to create this card first, the thank you card. Um, this stamp set has several sentiments in it. And any of these would work. These four would work great here. This one's for the inside. So we're going to create a thank you card because I have a few of those to send out. It was my birthday last week and I have some thank you cards I need to make. So that worked out perfect. Let's go over the supplies that we need. This card's a little bit different than what I've done in the past. I have a piece of Knight of Navy that is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's not a card. It's just a quarter of a sheet. Then I have a piece of basic white that is five and a quarter by eight and scored at four inches. So you can see that's how my card is going to open, all right? It's just gonna be a little bit different. Um, so that's the basic white. I've got some polished pink 
two and a half by four and a quarter and a piece of granny apple green two by four by the way these are really just scraps but that's what we're going to use to die cut um, our flowers we've got one going on on the inside as well so these can also just be some scraps all right here we go first things we're going to do is we're going to do some stamping on this night of navy i'm going to grab my grid paper here i'm going to come in with a night of navy ink pad but let me show you i mean aren't those just the most gorgeous colors together night of navy polished pink granny apple green beautiful love them we're gonna go with some night of navy and uh, in this stamp set is a great speckle i love speckle it's one of my favorite things and i'm just gonna speckle all over the front of this you see it's it's pretty subtle you really don't see a lot of it but it just gives it a little bit of texture so i'm going to ooh, i want to move stuff around so i don't ink up things I don't want to. All right, we have that done. I'm going to set that aside. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some stamping. We're going to try to get the stamping done first. Oh, the cold medicine's kicking in. All right, polished pink. And in this set, we have two flowers. So we have a great big one. Isn't that so pretty? So we're just doing polished pink on polished pink. And then we have a smaller one. So I'm going to stamp both of those. And now I will come in with my granny apple green, one of my favorite greens. I love bright greens. And there are also two sets of leaves in this one, guys. So there's a three leaf and a two leaf. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp both of those. Um, let's see. I'll tell you what. You know what? We're stamping. Let's keep going, shall we? We are going to stamp our sentiment and this is for the inside couldn't be happier to have you as my friend okay and then just to the right and left of that there's another really great little leafy stamp and it's just going to kind of add a little bit we always want the inside of our cards to be pretty right um all right that is all the stamping no it's not there is going to be one more but i have to wait and that's this thank you so we're going to come back to that all right so don't let those ink pads get too far away now let's do some die cutting so i'm going to bring in my oh so fabulous die cutting machine give myself some room here and i'll tell you what the first thing i want to die cut is my base here my card base and we're going to take this fabulous die and just kind of center it up at the top and the side. So see how we're leaving all this space down here? We don't want to go right in the middle. All right, I'm going to grab a cutting plate, go right on top there. I love die cutting. It's probably one of my favorite things about paper crafting. So we're going to roll that through. Just roll it through one more time for good measure. And it's going to leave me some mess, all right? So I'm just going to give you a heads up. What did I do? I'm already, I, I inked my hand. Well, who's surprised by that? That's not good. All right, we're going to get all these little pieces out of here. I got a mess. The dog's up here. So I might just throw these on the floor for him. Give him something to do. We'll keep him entertained during the live because, you know, sometimes... Tugger can be a little naughty. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. And you can see my fabulous detailed die. And don't you love how it, that's, guys, it's just going to drive me crazy. All right, and I got something on my card, something sticky. I don't know what I did. All right, but we're going to move on. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add this to our card. Let's make sure it's opening correctly. And I'm going to do something a little bit different to adhere this. I'm actually going to use my multi-purpose glue and stay kind of to the inside here because it's going to hang, the white is going to hang off. So we want to kind of stay right in there. All right. Now to make sure these little dots stay down, just, just some tiny, I mean, try not to even squeeze the bottle. There we go. Just enough on the dots to help those stick 
And the other reason I like using multi-purpose glue for this is it stays wet long enough for me to get all of this done. I think I got them all. Nope, let's get that one. All right. I'm going to do it this way. So there's the opening. Opening should be over here to the left. I'm going to center that up on that Knight of Navy cardstock. Give it a pretty little back rub. Make it feel nice. Give it the love. Oh, Edward Olson from New York just got here. So nice to see you. All right. So now you can see it adhered that down nicely. Really worked well. We're going to die cut these. And if you guys will forgive me, I went ahead and did it in advance. Honestly, because I'm still so warm, I was really worried that I would do something silly like, I don't know, pass out in the middle of my, in the middle of my, where's my thank you stamp? I'm losing everything. All right, there we go. <laughs> you guys know when I'm live, you just never know what you're going to get. And live with cold medicine, that's a whole nother thing. All right, I'm going to stamp thank you in Night of Navy ink. And I'm kind of doing it at an angle, just, you know, to kind of give it a little something. And now we're going to add some flowers. So what I've done is I told you I die cut uh, these flowers in advance. And I went ahead and put some dimensionals on them, okay? So this is the big flower with the three leaves. And we're just going to add that there. This one is the small leaf and the, I say small leaf, the two leaf and the uh, small flower and we're just going to add that right in there doesn't it just give such a pretty burst of color all right now i i'm going to have to get creative on you guys so on my original let me bring in my original i used the adhesive backed milky dots i love these and guess what they just sold out of them and the yellow was so pretty and I, I was so sad, but you know what? There's always another embellishment, right? So I'm going to use festive pearls. Let me grab my take your pick tool. Not that one. Well, I don't know where it went. Yeah. Story of my life. Okay. I'm going to take some gold festive pearls without my take your pick tool. Although I wish I had it. Makes picking these up so much easier. And you know what? Even though I loved the look of those milky dots, you must admit those gold festive pearls also look quite nice. So there we go. Inside of our card, pretty easy, right? That one together, so easy. All right, that is card number one. And by the way, let me go ahead, since I've got this out, I'm going to show you. Uh, this would be the... Um, the uh, pastel version that I did. So I did Blushing Bride, So Saffron, and Mint Macaron. My card base was actually very vanilla instead of um, the basic white. I thought it gave a nice contrast. And again, those same adhesive back milky dots, there were some really nice kind of Blushing Bride ones in there. Um, but again, I could easily come in with the silver, or I think these from the uh, Festive Pearls is kind of kind of a bluish, real light blue, that would have looked really pretty as well. So I wanted you to see the other version. You see, I speckled the background of that one as well. And uh, stamped, I did the stamping that was in the crumb cake, just to give it something a little different. All right, card number one, down. Let's move on, and we're gonna create this beauty. Again, fabulous colors going on here. So let's bring in our supplies for this one. Now this one, we are going to use Knight of Navy, a half sheet that is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I have a piece of basic white. Uh, this is actually for the inside of the card, four inches by five and a quarter. Let's see, we've got these again are going to be some scraps, okay? But I'm going to need a little bit larger scraps um, of these in the polished pink and the um, granny apple green. But I'll go ahead and tell you, I cut a sheet that was two and a half by seven because I'm going to need three flowers on this one. And then my granny apple green is a two by five and a half because I'm going to need three sets of leaves. All right. A uh, couple other little things, uh, truly some little tiny pieces here. I wanted to do something a little bit different with my sentiment. And let me give you the measure measurements for these. This would be a one by one and a half 
and a three quarter by one and three quarters. And hopefully you can see, we're just gonna kind of layer those and just thought it kind of looked fun. So we're gonna need those for our sentiment. The last thing guys, I have a piece of adhesive sheet that is one inch by five and a half inches. This is gonna be kind of important when we go to do this. All right, here we go. So the first thing we wanna do is find our card base. And you see, we wanna cut off some right here. And um, let me see, I think I put this in your notes. Yes, I did. You're gonna cut it down to seven and a half inches. So you're gonna cut an inch off. So this is in your free diagram. So I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer and we're gonna cut off one inch. That's gonna leave us that pretty little spot so we can show off that die cut. And now to do that die cut, let's take our adhesive sheet. I need to try to take a little break here and see what you guys are talking about. Night of Navy with the pink flower is beautiful. Thank you, Karen. I know, I. it's not a normal color combination, right? But boy, I sure thought it was pretty. I'm going to peel off, you notice I just peeled off part of my adhesive sheet. Now I'll peel off a little bit more. I just think this is, woo, get that unstuck. Okay, one more. I, if you guys have not tried these adhesive sheets for these detailed die cuts, I'm telling you, this has been, I'm not a fan of trying to use glue <laughs> on detailed die cuts. And once Stampin' Up! came out with these sheets, I was in heaven. Let's die cut this together, shall we? All right, let's take that incredible little, and you guys know, I love my polka dots, right? I do. I love my polka dots. Now you notice the die is bigger than my cardstock, and that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up one side and it is going to cut off some of it and that's fine. It is fine with me. I'm just going to kind of line that up right there. And can you see how I just kind of lined up the, the dots with the edge of the cardstock? We're going to run this through. And of course, what we love is that we don't have to worry about how to get this little detailed thing onto our card. It's going to be super easy. All right. Oh, I've got another trick to share. So sometimes when I need to get these out, yep, that's what I do. And you guys are going, Connie, uh, we hear that loud and clear. Thank you. All right. We will get this popped out of here. Normally, I probably would bring in my dye brush. But, you know, I'm not thinking clearly because my head is all stuffy. All right. There's lots of pieces for the dog to play with later. Now, that looks really difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a tough one. Let me bring in my basic white. And what I want to do, uh, I can see this is the part that I cut off. See how my dots are cut off? And if you have anything like this, like see how I have just this little sliver? I'm, I'm just, I'm going to snip it away. I don't want to try to work with anything too difficult, too dainty. And what I want to do is remove the backing. You know what would have been great? Oh, would you guys give me one second to go do something? Hang on. I'm going to go grab. You guys have seen me do this before. Because things like this, and I should have thought of it, and it's that press and seal. This stuff is awesome for detailed dyes like this. So I'm going to get just a little bit. Now, I got to tell you something. When you use this stuff, you want to de-stickify it. I'm going to put it on my jeans. I know you can't see that. But I want to get some of that sticky off of there. This is a great tip for adhering things like this. I'm just going to lightly put it on that press and seal. See? I know. Aren't you so glad you tuned in just for that tip alone? All right. Now we're going to get part of the backing here get it started. And like I said, if I had been smart enough to have my take your tip pick tool, I wouldn't be fighting it. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay. Now, when you go to peel this off, just be gentle with it. And it's also going, if you have any of these little spots that are, um, 
with little details inside, don't worry about it. Well, my great tip is not working great for me today. Let's get all of this off of here. You guys are already going. Okay, Connie, um, this looks too putsy for me. Well, it really isn't. Okay, you know what? We're not going to try to do that today because my brain is just not good enough for that today. Here we go. <laughs> Please tell me you guys are laughing at me and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this off my fingers. Okay. All right. We got it now. All right. We are going to lay this. Hey, let me tell you something else about this one. There's no right or wrong with it. So you don't have to worry about getting things like perfect. And by the way, you notice with um, the adhesive sheet, I do kind of have the ability to play with it just a little bit. I'm going to. You notice also it's hanging off the side because it is bigger than my actual card stock. It's one piece. There we go. Now I'll take this one. So even though I said, oh, look, it's kind of putsy, it's really not. We'll line that up there. All right. I actually am happy with it. <laughs> now I am going to snip off the ends here. Trust me, though. Having that adhesive sheet, really, it does make it so much easier. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I weren't live, all of that would have worked great. Okay, there we go. You can see it adds great detail there. Let's go ahead and adhere that into my card. we got to do some stamping. So now that we, you know what, I'm not going to adhere that yet. Goodness gracious. we got to speckle because I love to speckle. So let's do some speckling here just on the front. So here's my tip whenever you have a card like this. Speckle there. Now I can get this top part and I didn't have to worry about hitting anything down here. Now I'm going to be honest, it's going to be covered anyway. Not a big deal, but um, I just, that's how I like to speckle whenever I have, um, whenever I don't, I want to make sure I'm not going to get the backside of my card. All right, we're going to take that basic white card, add that there. See how that's giving that a nice look? Okay, now we're going to do a little more stamping. Let's come in with our polished pink. Now for this card, guys, we're actually going to do three small flowers. Okay, that's all we need on this one. We're not going to do a large one, just three small ones. Now with the granny apple, let's do, what are we going to do, Connie? Let's look at our card. We are going to do two double leaves and one triple leaf, okay? But you do you. Um, it's whatever you want to do. And you can see you have plenty of room there. All right. We're going to die cut those. Um, but let me go ahead and stamp my hello. For this one, and by the way, if you wanted to change the sentiment, like I did hello right here, if you wanted to change the sentiment, just change the size of this. That is all you need to do. All right. We'll stamp that right there. All right. We are going to put our card together. So um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to start. I took one of my flowers, and I just adhered the uh, three stem or the three leaf there on it get that one right up there at the top. That's easy enough, right? And then what I did, oh, it got stuck. I took the other two. Can you see how I just added my leaves and plenty of Stampin' Under Dimensionals? Because, you know, you can never have too many. Uh, we're going to add those right on top. It gives really great dimension there. Now we can add our hello sentiment. And I'm going to start with that one by one and three quarters. And we're gonna add that there. And then this hello, I am going to add with Stampin' Dimensionals because you can never have too many Stampin' Dimensionals. And you know what I just noticed? I did this the opposite, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's creativity, right? Is this where I go and tell you guys, no, I meant to do that. 
It doesn't matter. So if you stamped your hello on the other one, still works. Can't tell, can you? All right. So we have that. Now, again, um, on this one, I had used the uh, adhesive backed um, embellishments, but we're going to go festive pearls. Get back here. Go right there. One more. I just think this gold up against that navy is stunning. And um, I'll tell you what. I am going to go in later, and I you can see I stamped this exactly the same as I did my other card, but I did it in the polished pink and added those little um, leaves. Plenty of room to write a message. I can see how far to go down with no problem whatsoever. All right, let me show you my other version. So that would be this one here in the um, Blushing Bride So Saffron and Mint Macaron. Again, stamped in some uh, crumb cake. And sorry, I have to adhere these down when I take photographs. And I guess I didn't get my sticky out of there. <laughs> and then did the same stamping in this one. So whether you kind of like things a little bit brighter or you like things a little bit softer, whichever is your preference, there we go. Guys, this technique really does work. I think it was just, it's just a day, right? Sometimes we just have a day. So there we go. Some really fun cards. Hey, before I flip my camera around, um, one, be sure to go get your free download, okay? I want you guys to have that because these cards are so fun to make. And even if you don't have these dies, see what you already have. What flowers do you have? Could you stamp a border here instead of die cutting? Could you uh, stamp a, or die cut a circle and maybe do some little, some of these speckles around it? There are some other things that you could do, but be sure to go grab your free download. But without further ado, I want to show you what we're doing next week. And I am excited about next week. We are going to do a now wow or holy cow. Woohoo! Okay, so this is my now card. Really fantastic card, right? You can see we got a place to write our message. It will fit into a medium-sized envelope. So we're going to be able to mail that. I had an envelope here so I could show you, but it got buried. So yeah, that's going to fit into an envelope, but it's so fun because it can stand up. And this is a wow, uh, a now card. Super easy. You're going to love this one. But let's say you want to step it up. You want to give it a little extra something. How about this one? Look at that. Yeah, we got all kinds of cool stuff going on with this one. Again, it's going to fold, go inside a card, stands up as well, but it's just got a couple little extra cuts. And so that's our wow card. But maybe you are all about, holy cow, look at this. We've got some ribbon. We've got some extra cuts in this one. It is definitely a holy cow. Again, places to write our message. These are going to be fun, fun cards. I'm excited to teach them to you. April 6th, right here on my channel, uh, 11 a.m. Central Time, we are going to work on Now Wow for Holy Cow Cards, and I hope that you guys will join me for that because it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I know it's time to close when the sinuses have decided to start, start up again. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was wondering if I'd be able to make it through the whole thing before that started up. Um, I want to just give a shout out. Thank you, Brenda, for being here with me and being my moderator, even with um, all you're dealing with. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate you being here. I love being your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you'd like to place an order, I'm your girl. I would love uh, for you to head over to simplysimplestamping.com. You can place your orders there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at Connie at simplysimplestamping.com. Um, I'm always happy to help answer your questions as long as it's stamping related. <laughs> don't ask me about anything else. I don't know much more than stamping. So there you go. <laughs> hey, Connie. Yes. You want to mention the retreat? Oh, I should. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, because she knows, you know, cough medicine and I don't, I don't remember anything. The Creative 8 Stampin' Retreat is coming up. Now, this will be our 13th retreat. These have been so incredibly popular. We started them during COVID just, you know, so we could all still kind of get together and create. And people begged us, please don't stop. They're so much fun. It's a weekend of stamping just for you. The Creative 8 team is comprised of four demonstrators. It's uh, Brandy Cox, Sharon Armstrong, Jackie Volheis, and myself. We spend the weekend 
creating live with you and we want you to join in on this fun. You're going to end up with, uh, when it's all said and done, you're going to have 36 tutorials, written tutorials, diagrams, photos, everything that you need. Um, we're going to be sharing eight YouTube lives with you at the top of every hour. We come in and share a different live with you guys. It really is a fun time. Hey, if you have been to the retreat, and uh, give us a little testimonial over there in the comments. We'd love to hear it. $45 for the entire weekend, the tutorials. You don't have to buy anything else. You're going to learn how to use what you already have because that is our goal. We want you to use what you already have in your arsenal of crafts and stamps and papers. So we're going to get you creating with those. Um, there's door prizes as well. You can uh, sign up for the Create Eight Retreat. Go over to simplysimplestamping.com. And uh, actually, I believe there's a, see, one of my head's in the clouds, but uh, it's going to say Create Eight Retreat. Uh, in that blue menu. You'll be able to grab it there. Um, or just scroll through the posts a little bit. You'll see the Creative Eight Retreat registration. And uh, we'd love to have you. Trust me, it's it's a fantastic weekend where you get to stamp just for you. It's set aside for you. And if you can't be there live, don't worry about it. Everything is pre-recorded. Um, ahead of time, we do that. So if we have technical difficulties, we have a backup plan. And we have it live. So whatever you prefer. If you like to uh, maybe watch pre-recorded and pause and create as you go along. Or if you love working live and just kind of being a part of all the fun, you can do that. And those videos, both of them are there for you forever and ever. So you can go back and watch whenever you want and create at your leisure. So thank you, Brenda, for reminding me of that. We're really excited about the retreat this year because um, spring is in the air and we have got some really, I mean, guys, every year I say, I don't know how we're going to be able to top it. But I've seen the projects for this year, and they are amazing, like amazing. You're going to love these. So we got lots in store. Be sure to check that out. All right, Brent, I think that's it. I hope you get to feeling better, Brenda. Um, and with that, I'm going to probably just have to go crash, <laughs> try to still get over mine. Again, thank you for all the well wishes. Hey, speaking of well wishes, do, do someone a favor today. You know somebody who's down dealing with this? you know, fluish, sinusy crud that's going around, send them a get well card. I'm telling you, it's going to brighten their day and you're going to feel uh, wonderful doing that. So send a card today. All right, my friends, that's it for me. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>